everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and today I'm talking about the different kinds of teeth we have. Teeth are an important part of our digestive system because they break our food down into little bits so that we can swallow it. If you run your tongue along your teeth now, you might notice that they don't all feel the same. This is because we have different kinds of teeth for different jobs. Let's talk about them by looking at some tooth and mouth diagrams from Twinkle. Let's talk about the incisors. Incisors are used for biting and cutting food. Think about biting into an apple. It is your incisors that bite into the apple and cut it up. They're at the front of your mouth and you have eight of them. Four at the top and four at the bottom. Canines are used for ripping and tearing your food. Your canines are on either side of your incisors and you have four of them. The word canine means something connected to dogs. This is because canine teeth are a bit pointy, just like the teeth of a dog or a wolf. Premolars and molars are towards the back of your mouth. These are bigger and wider than incisors and canines, and this is because of what they do. Premolars are used for holding and crushing food. At the very back of the mouth are the molars. These are the bigger versions of premolars that chew and grind up food, working with your tongue to prepare food for swallowing. There's also wisdom teeth, which adults will get when they're older. These are an extra set of teeth at the very back of the mouth. Scientists think that wisdom teeth come from a very long time ago, when humans had a diet of much rougher, coarser food. Because of this, they needed an extra set of molars to chew up their food. However, because our diets have changed so much over time, we actually don't need them anymore. Let's move on and take a look at the different parts of a tooth. Looking at this diagram now, the crown is the part of the tooth above the gum that you can see. Part of the tooth hidden under the gum is called the root. Each tooth is coated in enamel, which is the shiny white surface of a tooth. Enamel is the hardest substance in the human body. Inside of the enamel is the dentine. This is a hard substance which protects the inside of the tooth. Then there's the pulp, which is the part of the tooth that contains the blood vessels and nerves. The blood vessels keep the tooth alive. For example, if you're eating something very hot or very cold, the nerves will send this message to your brain. Lastly, there's the cementum. This is the layer that covers and protects the root of the tooth. The tooth is surrounded by gums and bone. And those are all the different types of teeth that humans have and the different parts of a tooth. If you'd like to use any of the diagrams we looked at today, they're available as posters, which you can download from the Twinkle website. Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something new. Have a lovely day.